Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Dragonfly Gamer UK, and I'm back with another monetization update. It's been a couple of months since I did my last update, which was when I reached the 3000 watch hour mark, which allowed me to enable membership for my channel. Uh, to date, I have one member, I still just got one member, but towards the end of August, I crossed the 4000 watch hour mark, which then enabled me to join the partner program and turn on AdSense. This, for those who don't know, means that you get paid a small fee every time somebody watches an advert when they're watching your channel so that's a pre-roll post-roll and mid-roll adverts that run every time one of those is watched it, it gives a, a fraction of a pence usually to the creator in that case me unless you subscribe to youtube in which case a small fraction of your subscription fee goes to the creator instead I'm never expecting to make a lot of money on this channel i don't think i ever will certainly not going to replace my day job but i have been making some money with this channel so far so, so thank you to join the partner program you need 4,000 watch hours of long form videos within the last 365 days or 10 million short views in within the last 90 days you also have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers now that sounds quite easy but it's actually quite a lot harder than you think and I can guarantee that 90-95% of the people who set out to try and monetize the channel will fail they, they'll not get the watch hours or not get the subscribers and they'll give up after a couple of months. It took me from really starting to try to monetize my channel to actually hitting that threshold, the 4,000 watch hours threshold. It took me seven months. And that was seven months of uploading between three and five videos a week. And they were anything from 45 to an hour and 15 minutes long. So it, it's quite a bit of effort to actually do that. Each of those videos take me maybe one to two hours to edit. So if you can hear some creaking. It's my chair's a bit squeaky. Apologies about that. I'll try and sit still. So if you know five hours in a week, you're talking maybe 12 to 15 hours of effort on top of my day job. So it's, it's a lot of effort to actually get monetized, so which is why it's a big thing when you eventually get there. Now, am I going to make a living out of this? Absolutely not. Um, I would need to do about 150 times better than I am now. But I'll, I'll go through this in a moment. I'll go through the numbers in a moment, which is, I guess is what people want to see. So once you reach the 4,000 hours, you've got to apply to the partnership program, which means you've then got to prove your identity and your address and be accepted by YouTube. They do a review of your channel and they accept it. YouTube advise it can take up to a month, but it took me two days for that to happen. Once you're in the partner program, after you've earned maybe $10 for me, about 10 UK pounds, you then have to verify your identity. That requires you to upload some kind of official photo identification. Uh, I uploaded my passport, I think it was. Maybe my driver's license, I can't remember. And you have my picture on it. And then YouTube send you a slip of paper through the post to the normal snail mail with a six digit code on it. When you get that, you then have to input that into your YouTube channel. And that then verifies your address. This is all around money laundering, basically stop money laundering. The money laundering rules in the UK are quite stringent. I imagine they aren't just like the US and most of Europe, if I'm honest. Most of the Western world, obviously money laundering is what criminals use to clean money, should we say. So that's why it's done. So as previously mentioned, I predominantly make long form videos, uh, anything from 30 minutes for some of the shorter ones up to, I think the longest one's about now and 20, now and 30. Once you are monetized, there are additional money streams open to you. So the first one is super thanks, which you typically do when you're watching a video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to that channel or a member of that channel, you can click on the below the video, bring up the menu and click on super thanks and send a monetary value to that creator. Uh, nobody's done that for me yet, I don't have that happen to me, so um, I'm not quite sure <laughs> how much of that I get, if I'm honest. Um, there are also super thanks, so when you're actually streaming, um, again, people, if they like what you're doing, they can, in the chat of the stream, go in there and hit the super thanks and, and again, send you money that way. Um, other things that are open to you are Brand Connect. So this is where a brand, if they like what you're doing, may approach you and say, we want you to put some advertising on YouTube for us. You've probably all seen it for people like Brilliant and things like that. They are all uh, Brand Connect. As a gaming channel, you don't really get a lot of that. I certainly haven't been approached yet. I have it set up, but quite enabled, so people can't approach me. But nobody approached me yet. Now, to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to. So, yeah, I have been monetized. So, I guess you all want to know how much money I made, don't you? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> it's not a huge amount. Part of the reason I'm making this video today is I have actually just surpassed the 2,000 subscribers to my channel. That happened... Um, Thursday I think it was um, and as of today I have 2006 subscribers so thank you guys I still only got one member so one member please join my channel I'd like two members <laughs> I like 20 members but hey okay I'll be up with two 
So let's switch to the desktop so you can see what I've actually made since my channel went, was monetized on the 20th of August. So what you can see here is my current subscriber count. As you can see, I started my channel before the beginning of 2023. Uh, I think it was back in 2021-ish. I started when I was made redundant. I didn't do a lot with my channel until the end of January, beginning of February. And this is what you can see, I've gone from 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 19, 22. And that's when I started putting out more videos. This big jump here, what looks good, is as a result of YouTube advertising. Now, I highly recommend you don't do that to try and get subscribers. It has given me a lot of subscribers in a very short period of time, but the problem is they don't stay. So I have literally since then to today battled with people who subscribe then leaving my channel and it's just meant my growth has stagnated. So since the 20th of March I've gone from 1,876 to 2,006 which is a growth of what 130. Which isn't a lot. I have had a lot of leavers in that time and you can see them, you see them in the stats, the people leaving. And I believe it's all to do with that uh, and that the YouTube advertising which I run. I would never do that again, and I highly recommend you do not run YouTube advertising as a small channel. It is not worth the pain, and it costs you money. But it was an experiment for me, and I learned something from it, which was don't do it. So anyway, so yeah, as you can see, uh, here we go. Um, when did I hit the 2000 mark? So 17, so yeah, two days ago, which was Thursday. What you can see here is my channel views since the 20th of August, when I was finally monetized. And as it was quite level, picking up a little bit, um, it then it dropped off this period here. Um, I had a few personal issues. Uh, my wife wasn't very well and a few other things. So you can see I was unable to make as many videos as I want. And my that view has dropped right off. Uh, things have now changed. I am able to start making videos again. I have done for the last couple of weeks. It, it, or last, yeah, maybe two weeks. And you can see things are picking back up again. But yeah, it is clear when I was not making videos how the, the views have dropped right off there. Watch hours kind of reflect that. I was, you know, I was hovering around about the the 30 watch hours a day. Uh, that dropped down. Maybe it was 25 hours a day. And it's, since then, it's actually picked up quite significantly. It's starting to climb back up quite, quite a bit. And in the same period, I've gained 44 subscribers. But you can see all these dips here. A lot of these. I mean, I'm watching this on a daily basis, and I'll see, you know, I might get two, three subscribers come in, but then I'll get four. And it's over all the days down, you know. But I know people are joining, but there are those people from that advertising period who are leaving so it does you know i can't see it having an impact on my stuff every day we will leave the monetization for the moment so the important bit i guess is you want to know how much money i've made in that period so here we go since well you can see there the 23rd of august was actually when i started receiving money because it's a couple of days behind i have received 44 pounds and 15 pence these two spikes are my members, my should say my member subscription. But other than that, it's been gaining. See this period here, everything is down. It's quite low, but since a couple of weeks ago, things have started picking up. So in the first month, you can see I made twenty pounds and fifty-three pence. This flat line here between the twentieth of August and the twenty-third of August is the time it takes for the revenue to be calculated by YouTube. It's always a few days behind. If we look at just the AdSense. There's money made through people viewing adverts that run during my videos. So that's a pre-rolls, post-rolls and mid-roll adverts. And you can see that I made £18.78, with the best day being the 8th of September when I made £1.39, and the worst day being the 28th of August when I made 36p. But to be fair, it's going to be quick, quite low down here because I've literally just started to get monetized at that point. Short speeds, well, it says I made a, a 0.3 pence in that time, so yeah, effectively nothing from short feeds. I've got a few, a couple of old shorts, which somebody must have viewed, which is why that number's there, and you don't really make anything from shorts. I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, Membership-wise, I have one member. I would like that number to have a zero after it, so please feel free to join my channel as a member. I am looking at various things that I can provide to my members as part of the membership. Currently, you get your name in the ad rolls at the end. I will be releasing some videos for preview by my members before they go live. So yeah, I've got one member at the moment and I make £1.75 from him. Uh, and I've had no supers in that period. So in, in total, I made £20.53. In the second month, and this isn't quite a full second month, it's only going up to the 17th. Obviously, I'm running from the 20th to the 17th. There's a couple of days missing here. 
But in the second month, I made £23.62, which is slightly up. And once I've added another couple of days of revenue on there, that may be about £25. Just looking at AdSense, just looking at ad views, you can see my I made £21.82, with my best day being this 15th of October, I made £1.71 from ad views, and my worst day being the 4th of October, I made 17p. And again, this is a period where I was having some problems and I wasn't really making any videos, as you can see by the lack of icons along the bottom. And that symbol there means I had it run a stream where the rest are all video uploads. Shorts feeds, now I've made 6p on shorts, I'll show you this in a moment. Um, and that has been in the last couple of days. Uh, I released a short video a couple of days ago, just something humorous that happened in one of my games. I'm not thinking it would go anywhere, and it's had about 512 views, something like that. Uh, which is probably the best short I've released, to be honest. But it's not a lot, but it made me 5p. In comparison to that number of views, it probably made me 50p, if not more, in normal long format videos. And for membership, I have accrued £1.75. Please join my channel, it's only 2 a month. And again, I've had no super, so I've had no supers in that period. So overall, if we look at the last 90 days, so I've cover everything. So all in all, I've accrued £45.90p. to This peak down here is for membership, because you can add... You can enable membership once you've got 3,000 watch hours and 500 subscribers, which I did, and then somebody joined my channel. That's my one member. He's been with me three months now. Thank you. Now, one thing you need to be aware of as well is that YouTube don't pay out every month. Well, let me rephrase that. YouTube will only pay out when you hit, hit a certain threshold of credit within your channel. In the UK, that's £60. In the US, I believe that's $100. That means you have to have earned $100 or £60 before YouTube will make a payment. That then resets to zero and you've got to accrue another $100 or £60 before we make another payment. So obviously I've not hit that threshold this month. I'd like to hit that during November. Also, YouTube pay a month in arrears. So what that means is I'll hit that threshold in November, but I won't actually get the check till December. So it's always a month in arrears. Now, if I'd earned £60 this month, that would get paid out next month. If I earned £500 this month, that would get paid next month. It's always a month in arrears, but you do have to hit that limit. If I earned £59, 59 pence, it would roll in November, and I would have to make an additional penny, and then I'd get paid in December. But just remember, there's a payout threshold for whichever currency you get paid in. Like I say, in UK, it's £60. In the US, $100. You can find what it is for your specific country, in the partnership help pages and this is just a quick look at, at the latest videos i've released so these are the long format videos i've released so you can see 40 45 27 37 they're all between about half an hour and three quarters of an hour long at the moment we're trying to keep them around about that length uh, i think an hour is a bit too long people lose interest um, and it's you know, i have a uh, monetization turned on for them all and how many views and likes each of the videos has had and how many comments so that's the normal long form videos and this is a short, uh, you can ignore that one and I've got 63 views, it's now unlisted, I, I, there was an error in that video so I had to pull it. And uh, this one has, I replaced it with a, the same video, with the error removed. And that one's had 519 views as of now, and uh, 16 likes, and that has made me 5p. <laughs> in comparison, so that one's 519 views. So if you look at, say, this one, which is about a quarter of the views, that was maybe 37p, so... In comparison, that would so if that was had the same number of views, that would be about one pound fifty. That one would make compared to the five p I made on the short video. So this is why long form video as a content creator is better. You need millions, and I mean millions of short views to make any money with short form videos. Um, and then live, I've got a couple of lives in here. That was just a test. Um, I did start doing a satisfactory stream, but because of everything that's been going on, I've let that drop. So I'm probably going to just delete those. I start again. I have started a new streaming series, and that is the first video streamed on both YouTube and Twitch. And that one's made me a whole 60GP. Please let me know if this is helpful. If you'd like to see some more, I may consider doing another monetization channel. I want to hit 3,000, maybe 4,000 subscribers, but at this rate, that's going to be quite a few months, if not years away. I would like to keep growing my channel. I would like to hit 10,000 subscribers. You know, just encourage me to keep going and do more. Obviously, I'm a long way from that at the moment. £25 a month isn't a great deal. It's not going to make me a millionaire anytime soon. Maybe in about well, 40,000 years I might make something. 
40,000 months. 40,000 months, how many years is that? If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I will try to respond to them. I do try to respond to all the comments I receive. 